Okay, another FP session for me. Why have I changed from traditional weights to FP? I've been asked by many. Simple reason was, I didn't want to have problems or injuries in my future, my years ahead. At the age of 66 now, I feel great. I feel better than I was in my 50s and 40s. It's quite surprising really because doing traditional weights, I've been doing all the those years in the past, yes, yeah, so lifting, deadlift, uh, bench press, front squats, all the usual stuff you see people do in the gym. Yeah, I was great, I was strong. At age 63, I was doing six, 240 deadlifts, felt great, felt fantastic. But what I wasn't aware of, I was feeling the slow regression of the body, getting tighter, stiffer, little nibbles here and there, but nothing to worry about. But I was feeling it. And my son said to me, stop doing your lifting. Try a P. Let's fix that body. You have made this function. Me? Nah. I'm a, I'm a champion. I don't have this function. I'm great. I love my lifting. I'm doing all that. So, I thought, you know what? I'll give it a try. And the first thing I did was stop the weight training and give FP the full, the, the full dedication. And I must admit, look, two years on, looking back, I feel great, I feel better. If you asked me back then, let's go and have a sprint, I would have been useless. Now, I can run for your money. I feel great how I'm moving, how I'm actually performing. Now, with FP, it's a different way of training. It's about the body mechanics of movement, how you run, how you walk, how you stand, and how you even jump. It's all about integrating the body to work more efficiently. With traditional weight training, yeah, a lot of people do functional training. This is quite there. Yes, you get the dynamics of movement, but this is totally different. It makes you think about how you move, how you move your hips, in line with your shoulders, or your back, or your ribs, whatever. It's more in depth. But the fun part about it is, you're lifting weights, but you're not annihilating the body with heavy load. You're creating more tension, and our body is about tension. For me, I may be using a power bar, or I may be using handles, or I may even be using dumbbells or kettlebells, but I'm still working the body in a dynamic that I feel the benefits. Example, uh, last week, my son put me through a little routine, working my legs, trying to get my hips working more, and using my ribs and making sure that my body's really giving ma maximum efficiency. God, did my legs ache for the next two to three days. I couldn't believe it. And that's what you tend to find with your working. The load has to be great, but how you work the mechanics is even better. It's greater. And it's protecting your joints. You're not annihilating the joints all the time. I've been very lucky that I haven't had any pains or any problems in my body. If you talk to anyone in the gym, I guarantee 90% of people will say, yeah, well, I had an issue, I had a shoulder issue, a back issue, whatever. And they'll carry on training, and they'll get over it, and there'll be another problem. But for me, no way, Jose. Other than that, it's all about your wealth and fitness, about being mobile and active, and being strong for yourself in your own dynamics. Anyway, take care, and think about your training.